एवरीवन इट्स मी संजिता पंडित वेलकम बॅक टू चॅनल मेडिकल विथ संजू नेपाल नर्सिंग काउन्सिल बेस्ड मोडेल सेट सेट ट्वेल्व बी कंटिन्यू गर्दैछ हो आज क्वेश्चन नम्बर सेभेन्टी सिक्स द बेस्ट वे टू डिक्रीज द रिस्क अफ ट्रान्सफेरिंग पॅथोजेन्स टू अफ पॅसेंट वेन रिमुव्हिंग कंटामिनेटेड ग्लोब्स इज टू ऑप्शन ए वॉच द ग्लोब्स बिफोर रिमुव्हिंग डेम ऑप्शन बी जेंटली पुल ऑन द फिंगर्स ऑफ द ग्लोब्स वेन रिमुव्हिंग डेम ऑप्शन सी जेंटली पुल जस्ट बिलो द कप अँड इन्व्हॉल्व द ग्लोब्स वेन रिमुव्हिंग डेम ऑप्शन डी रिमूव्ह द ग्लोब्स अँड डेन टर्न डेम इन साइड आउट ऑप्शन सी द राईट अँसर जेंटली पुल जस्ट बिलो द कप अँड इन्व्हॉल्व द ग्लोब्स वेन रिमुव्हिंग डेम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन्टी सेवेन नर्सिंग क्लॅरिज इज टीचिंग अ पॅसेंट अबाउट अ न्यूली प्रिस्क्राईब ड्रग वॉट कुड कॉज अ जेड्रायटिक पॅसेंट टू हॅव डिफिकल्टी रिटेनिंग नॉलेज अबाउट प्रिस्क्राईब मेडिसिनेशन ऑप्शन ए डिक्रीज प्लाझ्मा ड्रग लेवल्स ऑप्शन बी सेन्सॉरी डिसेप्स ऑप्शन सी हिस्ट्री ऑफ टोरेट सिंड्रम ऑप्शन डी लॅक ऑफ फॅमिली सपोर्ट option b the right answer sensory deficits question number 78 a female patient who speak a little english has emergency gallbladder surgery during discharge preparation which nursing actions would best help this patient understand wound care instruction option a ask frequently if the patient understands the instruction option b demonstrating the procedures and having the patient read on the demonstration option c writing out the instructions and having a family members read them to the patient and option d ask it and interpret to reply the instructions to the patient the right answer is option b demonstrating the procedures and having the patient read on the demonstration question number 79 before administrating the evening dose of a prescribed medication The nurse on the evening shift finds an unlabeled filled syringe in the patient's medication drawer. What should the nurse in charge do? Option A. Discard the syringe to avoid the medication error. Option B. Obtain a label for the syringe from the pharmacy. Option C. Use the syringe because it looks like it contains the same medication the nurse was prepared to give. and option d call the day nurse to verify the content of the syringe option a the right answer discard got the new person discard the syringe to avoid all medication error question number 80 when administering drug therapy to a male dietetic patient the nurse must stay especially alert for adverse effects which factor makes the dietetic patients to adverse drug effects option a enhance blood flow to the GI tract option B increase amount of neurons option C aging related physiological changes and option D factor drug clearance option C the right answer uh, aging related physiological changes question number 81 a female patient is being discharged after cataract surgery after providing medication teaching the nurse asks the patient to repeat the instructions The nurse is performing which professional role? Option A, manager. Option B, educator. Option C, caregiver. And option D, patient advocate. Option B, educator ko role jai tiyan khil cha. Nurse le. Question number 82. A scrub nurse in the operating room has which responsibility? Option A, positioning the patient. Option B, assisting with gowning and gloving. Option C, handling surgical instructions to the surgeon and and option d applying surgical wraps option c handling surgical instructions to the surgeon scrub nurse ko kaam huncha ra sarcoidy nurse ko kaam outside the uh, ot question number 83 a patient is in the bathroom when the nurse enters to give a prescribed medication what should the nurse in charge do Option A leave the medications at the patient's bedside option B tell the patient to be sure to take the medication and then leave it at the bedside option C return shortly to the patient's room and remain there until the patient takes the medication option D wait for the patient to return to bed and then leave the medications at the bedside 
ऑप्शन सी द राइट आंसर जिसरी पनि पेसेंट लाई मेडिकेशन खुवाएर स्योर भएर मात्र चाहिँ छोड्नु पर्छ क्वेशन नम्बर 84 द नर्स इन चार्ज मेजर्स अ पेसेंट टेंपरेचर एट 102 डिग्री व्हाट इज द इक्विवेलेंट सेंटीग्रेड टेंपरेचर मेडिकल विथ संजुमा क्लास लिने प्रत्येक स्टुडेंट लाई यो क्वेशन पक्कै आउँछ होला अब सेंटीग्रेड लाई फरेनहाइट र फरेनट लाई सेंटीग्रेड मा चेन्ज गर्न या फरेन हेर्दै गएको छ सेंटीग्रेड मा चेन्ज गर्न भन्ने छ c इज इक्वल टु f 32 5/9 पुट करें निर्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन आँच अप्सन सी द राइट एंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी फाइव द नर्स यूज अ स्टेटेस्कोप टू एस्कल्टेट अ मेल पैसेजेस्ट विथ स्टेटमेंट एबाउट स्टेटेस्कोप विथ अ बेल एंड डायफोग्राम इज ट्रू अप्सन ए द डायफोग्राम डिटेक्ट्स लो पिच साउंड बेस्ट अप्सन बी द डायफोग्राम डिटेक्ट्स हाई पिच साउंड चेस्ट अप्सन सी द बेल डिटेक्ट्स थ्रिल बेस्ट And option D, the bell detects a high pitched sound paste. Option B, the right answer. Diaphragm detects a high pitched sound paste. Question number 86. What does the nurse in charge do when making a surgical bed? Option A, leave the bed in the high position when finished. Option B, place the pillow at the head of the bed. Option C, roll the patient to the far side of the bed and option d talks the top seat and blanket under the bottom of bed option a is the right answer leave the bed in the high position when finished question number 87 the patient prescribed 250 mg of drug the drug by leaves 500 mg per ml how much of the drug uh, should the nurse give option a 2 ml option b 1 ml option c half ml and option d 1/4 ml 250 mg prescribe garnu bhako cha ra hamile sanga cha 500 250 by 500 is equal to half ml option c the right answer question number 88 which nursing action is essential when providing continuous enteral feeding option a elevating the head of the bed option b positioning the patient on the left side option c the formula before administering it option d hanging a full days worth of a formula at one time right answer is option a elevating the head of the bed question number 89 which of the following signs symptoms will be present in a patient with the hypovolemia Option A increase heart rate option B hypotension option C urine output 30 ml per hour and option D bounding pulse option A increase heart rate question number 90 which intervention is an example of primary prevention option A administering digoxin to a patient with heart failure option B administering omnigels mumps rubella immunization to an infant question number C obtaining a pap micoliv as near to screen for cervical cancer and option D using occupational therapy to help a patient to cope with the arthritis option B the right answer administering measles mumps and rubella immunization to an infant option A ma bhaneko cha heart failure patient la digoxin dinu option C ma de bhaneko cha cervical cancer bhayeko patient la चाहे एसमेर टेस्ट करप्सन डी में अर्थराइटिस पेसेंट लुपेशनल थेरापी दिन को डिजिज लगे तेल चाहे अरुण ट्रिटमेंट दिन ये ए सी एंड डी आर द सेकेंडरी प्रिभेन्सन अप्सन बी इज द प्राइमरी प्रिभेन्सन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी वन द नर्स इन चार्ज इज एसिंग अ पेसेंट्स बेडरूम विच एक्जामिनेशन टेक्निक सुट द नर्स यूज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन ए एस्कल्टेशन ऑप्शन बी इंस्पेक्शन ऑप्शन सी प्रकॉशन एंड ऑप्शन डी पालपेशन द फर्स्ट वन इज इंस्पेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी टू द नर्स इन चार्ज आइडेंटिफाई अ पेसेंट्स रिस्पोन्स टू ए क्यूट और पोटेन्सियल हेल्थ प्रब्लम्स ड्यूरिंग हुच स्टेप अफ द नर्सिंग प्रोसेस अप्सन ए एसेसमेंट अप्सन बी नर्सिंग डायग्नोसि अप्सन सी प्लांग एंड अप्सन डी इवालुएसन नर्सिंग डायग्नोसि फेज में क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी थ्री वेन पोजिशन्स पपर्ली द टिप अफ सेंट्रल भेनस कैथेटर सुट लाई इन द अप्सन ए सुपेरियर भेनका भा अप्सन बी 
बेसिलिका भेन ऑप्शन सी जुगलर भेन एंड ऑप्शन डी सब क्लैबियन भेन सुपेरियर भेनेकावा ऑप्शन इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 94 अ 65 ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल हु हैज डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस एंड हैज अ हाउ लॉन्ग विल सस्टेन अ लार्ज लैसेरेशंस ऑन हर लेफ्ट रिस्ट एज द नर्स इट टेक फॉर माय स्कार्स टू डिसअपीयर विद असिस्टमेंट टू वुड बी द नर्सेस बेस्ट रिस्पांस ऑप्शन ए द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन फेज ऑफ अ वुंड हीलिंग कैन टेक 2 टू 3 इयर्स ऑप्शन बी वुंड हीलिंग इज अ वेरी इंडिविजुअल सपोर्ट विद इन 4 मंथ द स्कार्स शुड फेड ऑप्शन सी विद योर हिस्ट्री एंड टाइप ऑफ लोकेशंस ऑफ द इंजरी इट इज हार्ड टू से and option d uh, if you don't develop an infection the wound should heal any time between 1 to 3 years from now diabetes patient ma wound healing process delay huncha option c is the right answer with your history and type of locations of the injury it is hard to say question number 95 a male client blood test results are as follow White blood cell count 100 ul, hemoglobin Hb level 40 g per ml, hematocrit 40%. Which goal would be most important for this client? Option A: Promote fluid balance. Option B: Prevent infection. Option C: Promote rest. And option D: Prevent injury. Option D: Prevent injury. Question 96. critical thinking and the nursing process have which of the following in a common both option a are important to use in a nursing practice option b use an order series of steps option c are patient specific process option d were developed specifically for nursing option a are important to use in a nursing practice question 97 in which step of the nursing process Does the nurse analyze data and identify client health problem? Option A assessment, option B diagnosis, option C planning outcomes and option D evaluation. Analyze data and uh, client health problem is a diagnosis option B. Question number 98. A patient is admitted with a shortness of breath so the nurse immediately listens to his breath sound. Which type of assessment is the nurse performing? Option A ongoing assessment option B comprehensive physical assessment option C focused physical assessment option D psychosocial assessment focused physical assessment option C is the right answer question number 99 first aid for a snake bite should include which of the following option A avoid unnecessary activities and try to immobilize the part of the body that was bitten Option B call 911 or emergency services option C try to remain calm and option D all of the above option D all of the above question number 100 if someone is bitten by a snake and you can get help right away what first aid can you give option A clean the area with soap and water option B keep the bite below the level of the heart Option C cover the area with a clean dressing and option D all of the above. Is nickel bite gare ko cha bhanne first bhanne ko chai clean the area with soap and water option A. Question number 101 Which vitamin deficiency the most likely to be a long term consequence of a full thickness bone injury? Option A vitamin A, option B vitamin B, option C vitamin C and option D vitamin D. फुल थिकनेस बन इंजरी में भिटामिन डी को डिफिशिएंसी होप्शन डी द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन हंड्रेड टू नर्स अन्य इज कैरिंग फर अ क्लाइंट हु हेज बीन ट्रीटेड लंग टर्म विद एंटी साइकोटिक मेडिकेशन ड्यूरिंग द एसेसमेंट नर्स अन्ना चेक्स द क्लाइंट फोर टाडिव डिस्कैनेसिया इफ टाडिव डिस्कैनेसिया इज पर्जेंट नर्स अन्य वुड मोस्ट लाइकली अब्जर्व ऑप्शन ए एबनर्मल मुवमेंट एंड इनभलटरी मुवमेंट अफ द माउथ टंग एंड फेस Option B normal movement and involuntary movements of the mouth tongue and face option C severe headache 
क्रॉसिंग ट्रीमर्स एंड एटेक्सिया ऑप्शन डी सीवियर हाइपोटेंशन माइग्रेन हेडेक ऑप्शन ए एबनॉर्मल मूवमेंट इन वॉलेंटरी मूवमेंट ऑफ द माउथ टंग एंड फेस क्वेश्चन 103 अ ब्लैक क्लाइंट विद अस्थमा सिक्स इमरजेंसी केयर फॉर एक्यूट रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस because of this client's dark skin the nurse should assess for sinuses by inspecting the option a lips option b mucous membrane option c nail beds and option d ear lobes mucous membrane ma sinuses hai ne black portion ko option b question number 104 for a client with a endotracheal et tube which nursing action is the most essential option a auscultating the lungs uh, for bilateral breath sound, option B, turning the client from side to side every two hours, option C, monitoring serial blood gas value every four hours, and option D, providing frequent oral hygiene. Option A, escalating the long support of bilateral breath sound is the right answer. Question number 105. Which phrase is used to describe the volume of air inspired and expired with a normal breath? Option A, total lung capacity. Option B, force vital capacity. Option C, tidal volume. And option D, residual volume. Option C, the right answer, tidal volume. Question 106, which of the following is a not a sign of dehydration? Option A, dry skin. Option B, increase skin turgor. Option C, hypotension. And option D, decrease urine output. Increase skin turgor is not a sign of dehydration. Question 107. The term bradypnea is referred. Option A. Inspiration more than 24 per minute. Option B. Pulse rate less than 60 per minute. Option C. Pulse rate more than 100 per minute. And option D. Respiration rate less than uh, 10 per minute. Option D. The right answer. Respiration rate less than 10 beat per minute. Normal size 16 to 20 ounce. Question 108. A client with a heart trauma develops urine output of 300 ml per hour, dry skin, and dry mucous membrane. Which of the following nursing intervention is the most appropriate to perform initially? Option A. Elevate urine specific gravity. Option B. Anticipate treatments for renal failure. Option C. Provide emollient to the skin to prevent breakdown. And option D, slow down the IV fluids and notify the physician. Option is the right answer. Elevate urine a specific gravity. 109. A client with a C6 spinal injury would most likely have which of the following symptoms? Option A, aphasia. Option B, hemiparesis. Option C, paraplegia. And option D, tetraplegia. Option D, tetraplasia. Tetraplasia occurs as a result of a cervical uh, spinal injury. Question 110. Human eye lens is Option A, round. Option B, biconcave. Option C, biconvex. And Option D, all. Human lens are biconvex. 111. Which of the following definitions best describe gastritis? Option A, Erosion of the gastric mucus. Option B. Inflammation of the diabetic column. Option C. Inflammation of the gastric mucus. And option D. Reflux of stomach acid into the esophagus. Inflammation of the gastric mucus. Option C. The right answer. Question 112. Colon cancer is the most closely associated with which of the following conditions? Option A. Ulcerative colitis. Option B, hiatal hernia. Option C, hemorrhoids. Option D, appendicitis. Ulcerative colitis. Option A is the right answer. Question number 113. Which nursing diagnosis takes the highest priority for a female client with a hyperthyroidism? Option A, risk for imbalanced nutrition, more than body requirements related to thyroid hormone excess. Option B, risk for impaired skin integrity related to edema, skin fragility, and poor wound healing. Option C, body image disturbance related to weight gain and edema. 
Option D, imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirement related to thyroid hormone excess. Option D is the right answer. Imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirement related to the thyroid hormone excess. Question 114. Which outcome indicates that treatment or a male client with the diabetes insipidus has been effective? Option A, the heart rate is 126 beats per minute. Option B, blood pressure is 90 by 50 mm of SG. Option C, urine output measures more than 200 ml per hour. Fruit intake is less than 2500 ml per day. Option D, fruit intake less than 2500 ml per day. The right answer. Question 115. A patient diagnosed with the sepsis from a UTI being discharged, what do you plan to include in her discharge teaching? Option A. Take cool bath. Option B. Avoid tampon use. Option C. Avoid sexual activity. And Option D. Drink 8 to 10 glass of water daily. UTI case ma. Shock to daily. Pani khanu parsa. Option D. The right answer. Question 116. Normal bleeding time is Option A 1 to 2 minutes, Option B 1 to 4 minutes, Option C 1 to 3 minutes, Option D 1 to 5 minutes. Option C 1 to 3 minutes. Question 117. A patient with diabetes has had many renal calculi over the past 12 years and now has a chronic renal failure. Which substance must be reduced in this patient's diet? Option A carbohydrate, option B fat, option C protein, option D vitamin C. Protein T is no parsa, option C the right answer. Question number 118. A client who has had a full thickness bone is being discharged from the hospital. Which information is the most important for the nurse? To provide prior to discharge. Option A How to maintain smoke detectors? Option B Joining a community reintegration program. Option C Learning to perform dressing change. Option D Options available for scar removal. Option C The right answer Learning to perform dressing uh, changes. Question 119. A client arrived in the emergency room with a penetrating eye injury from a wood chips while cutting wood. The nurse assessed the eye and notes a piece of a wood wound protruding from the eye. What is the initial nursing action? Option A. Remove the piece of a wood using a sterile eye clamp. Option B. Apply an eye patch. Option C. Perform visual acuity test. And Option D. Irrigate the eye with sterile saline. Option C is the right answer. Perform visual acuity test. If the laceration is the result of a penetrating injury, an object may be noted protruding from the eye. Question 20. When using a snail alphabetic chart, the nurse records the client's visions as a 20 by 40, which of the following statement best describe 20 by 40 vision. Option A, the client has a alternation in near vision and is legally blind. Option B, the client can see at 20 feet what the persons with a normal vision can uh, see at 40 feet. Option C, the client can see at 40 feet what the persons with a normal vision see at 20 feet. Option D, the client has a 20% decrease in acuity in one eye and a 40% decrease in the other eye. Option B is the right answer. The client can see at 20 a feet where the person with the normal vision can see at 40 feet. Question 121. The airborne diet transmitter vibrations to the oval window of the cochlea are found in the option A inner ear, option B outer ear, option C middle ear, and option D station tube. Middle ear mounts. Question 122. A client is diagnosed with a disorder involving the inner ear. Which of the following is the most common client complaints associated with the disorders in this part of the ear? Option A. Hearing loss. Option B. Pruritis. Option C. Tinnitus. Option D. Burning of the ear. Tinnitus. 
Question number 123. The part of the ear that contains the receptors for the hearing is the option A, it recall, option B, cochlea, option C, middle ear, and option C, tympanic cavity. Option B, cochlea. Question 124. A male client who has a suffered or cerebral vascular accident, CVA, is too weak to move on his own. To help the client avoid pressure ulcer, the nurse should Option A. Turn him frequently Option B. Perform passive syringe of motion exercise Option C. Reduce the client fluid intake Option D. Encourage the client to use a foot board Turn his frequently, the right answer Question number 125 Life span of RBC is Option A. 120 days option b 18 days option c 200 days and option t 60 days 120 days option a question number 126 in an industrial accident a male client died with 150 lb 20 kg sustained full thickness burn over 40 percent of body is in the burn unit receives fluid resuscitation whose observation so that the fluid resuscitation is benefiting the client option a a urine output consistently above 100 ml per hour option b a weight gain of 4 b 2 kg in 24 hours option c body temperature reading all within a normal limits option d an electrocardiogram ecg showing no arrhythmia Option is the right answer. A urine output consistently above 100 ml per hour. Question 127. The nurse is providing home care instructions to a client who has recently had a skin graft. It's most important that the client remember to. Option A. Use cosmetic camouflage like techniques. Option B. Continue physical therapy. Option C. Promote the graft from a direct sunlight. Option D. Apply lubricating solutions to the graft site. Option C. The right answer. Protect the graft from direct sunlight. Question 128. While in a skilled nursing facility, a male client contracted scabies, which is diagnosed the day after discharge. The client is living at her daughter's room, where six other persons are living. During her visit to the clinic, she asked her staff nurse, what should my family do? The most accurate response from the nurse is, Option A, all family members will need to be treated. Option B, if someone develops symptoms, tells him to see a physician right away. Option C, just is careful not to share lunch and towels with the family members. Option D, after you are treated, family members don't be at risk for contracting scabies. Option is the right answer. All family members will need to be treated. Question 129. Which of the following sleep disorders is the most prevalent? Option A. Hypersomnia. Option B. Insomnia. Option C. Parasomnia. Option D. Sleep awake schedule disturbance. Insomnia, option B, the right answer. Question 130. 24 years old client comes into the clinic complaining of a right sided chest pain and shortness of breath. He reports that it started suddenly. The assessment should include which of the following intervention? Option A, escalating of breath sounds. Option B, chest x ray. Option C, endocardiogram. Option D, electrocardiogram. Option A is the right answer. It's called a breath sound. Question 131. What effect does hemoglobin amount have on oxygenation status? Option A. No effect. Option B. More hemoglobin reduce the client's respiratory rate. Option C. Low hemoglobin levels cause reduced oxygen carrying capacity. Option D. Low hemoglobin level cause increased oxygen carrying capacity. Right and the appropriate answer is option C. Low hemoglobin level cause reduced oxygen carrying capacity. Question number 132. Which of the following anti-tuberculin drug can cause damage to the uh, earth cranial nerve? 
ऑप्शन ए स्टेटोमाइसिन ऑप्शन बी आइसोनेजाइड ऑप्शन सी थैम्बूटोल हाइड्रोक्लोराइड ऑप्शन डी पारा इम्यूनोसाइक्लिक एसिड स्टेप्टोमाइसिन क्वेश्चन नंबर 133 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फैमिली मेंबर इज एक्सपोज्ड टू टीबी वुड बी एट अ हाई रिस्क ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग द डिजीज ऑप्शन ए 45 इयर्स ओल्ड मदर ऑप्शन बी 17 इयर ओल्ड डॉटर ऑप्शन सी 8 इयर ओल्ड सन एंड ऑप्शन डी 26 इयर्स ओल्ड ग्रैंड मदर ओल्ड एज माउंस टीबी ऑप्शन डी राइट एंड 76 इयर्स ओल्ड ग्रैंड मदर क्वेश्चन नंबर 134 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड इज द बेस्ट वे टू कंफर्म द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ न्यूमोथोरैक्स ऑप्शन ए एस्कॉल्टेट ब्रीथ साउंड ऑप्शन बी हैव द क्लाइंट यूज एन इंसेंटिव स्पायरोमीटर ऑप्शन सी स्ट्रिक ऑन नीडल इन द एरिया ऑफ डिक्रीज द ब्रीथ साउंड एंड ऑप्शन डी टेक अ चेस्ट एक्सरे ऑप्शन डी टेक अ चेस्ट एक्सरे इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 135 a 36 year old male client is about to be discharged from the hospital after 5 days due to surgery which should be included in the home health care nurses instructions about major to prevent constipation option a discouraging the client about eating large amount of raw fish containing food in the diet option b encouraging the client to use laxatives routinely to ensure the adequate bowel elimination Option C, instructing the client to establish a bowel evacuation schedule diet changes every day. Option D, instructing the client to fill a 2 liter bottle with water every night and drink it the next day. Option D is the right answer, instructing the client to fill a 2 liter bottle with water every night and drink it the next day. Question number 136. The accident prevention plan for three month world infant include Option A remove a small objects from the floor. Option B cover electric outlets with a safety plug. Option C remove toxic substance from low area and option D test the temperature of water before bathing. Test the temperature of water before bathing. Question number 137. In infant, which teeth will drop first? Option A, incisors. Option B, canin. Option C, upper molar. And option D, lower molar. Lower central incision answer. Option is the right answer. Question number 138. Which position is the safest for infants during the first week of life? On the back lying flat, option B on either side lying flat, option C head slightly elevated on the left side, and option D head slightly elevated on the right side. On the back lying flat, that is supine position. Question number 138. What is the major indication of an illness in an infant? Option A grunting dispiration. Option B, excessive perspiration. Option C, longer period of sleep. And option D, crying immediately after feeding. Grunting disparation. Question 140. What is the priority nursing action that must be included in a nursing care plan of a child with pneumonia? Option A, rest. Option B, exercise. Option C, nutrition. Option D, elimination. Rest option is the right answer. Question 141. What should be included in nursing care plan of infant with increased intracranial pressure? Option A. Wait daily before feeding. Option B. Check reflexes at regular interval. Option C. Elevate the head higher than the hips. Option D. Monitor alertness with a frequent stimulation. Option C the right answer. Elevate the head higher than the hip. Question number 142. Tetalogy the palate is characterized by the following except option A atal septal defect, option B ventricular septal defect, option C overriding aorta and option D pulmonary infundibular constriction. Okay.
The tail is a thallot is the most common synoptic congenital malformations of the heart and greater blood vessel, and it includes four defects like ventricular septal defect, right ventricular hypertrophy, pulmonary artery stenosis, and last one is overreading of aorta. Options is the right answer atrial septal defect. This is my Question one hundred forty three. Why it is recommended that closure of plate uh, should be done before the age of two years? Option A. After age of two, surgery is uh, tightening and should be avoided if possible. Option B. Eruptions of two years are often complicates the surgical procedure. And option C. As a child gets older, the plate gets wider and more difficult to repair. And option D, surgery should be performed before your child starts to use a uh, faculty speech pattern. Option D is the right answer. Surgery should be performed before your child starts to use a faculty speech pattern. Question 144. What causes fall smelling and fruity stool uh, in a child may be diagnosed with uh, cystic fibrosis? Option A, undigested fat. Option B, sodium and chloride. Option C, lipase, trypsin and amylase. Option D, partially digested carbohydrate. Option A, undigested fat. Question 145. What should be immediately done after feeding to limit vomiting in infant who underwent corrosive surgery of a hypertrophy pyloric stenosis? Option A, drop the infant. Option B, place the infant in an infant seat. Option B, place the infant flat on the right side. Option D, keep the infant awake with a sensory stimulation. Place the infant in an infant seat. Question 146. Intravenous fluid flow rate must be monitored closely in infant who develop severe diarrhea because Option A, limiting output. Option B, replacing lost fluids. Option C, avoiding IV infiltration. Option D, preventing cardiac overload. Preventing cardiac overload. Question 147. The major criteria for the diagnosis of rheumatic fever include all except. Option A, carditis. Option B, fever. Option C, chorea. And option D, subcutaneous nodules. Rheumatic fever is a characteristic of major and minor. Minor is fever, arthritis, increased ESR, positive C creatinine protein, and prolonged PR interval in ECG. Uh, this is major criteria of carditis, polyarthritis, chorea, subcutaneous nodules, and erythema marginatum. Scan set option B is fever size. Major ma minor ma unsa fever. Question 148. What do we understand by patent doctor's arteries? Option A. The diameter of aorta is enlarged. Option B. The wall between the right and the left ventricle is open. Option C. It is a narrowing of the entrance of pulmonary artery. And option D. It is a connection between pulmonary artery and aorta. Option D is the right answer. It is connection between pulmonary artery and aorta. Question 149. What is the major characteristic in a cardiac malformation of with her left to right something of a uh, child suspected of congenital disorder? Option A. Elevated hematocrit. Option B. Severe growth retardation. Option C. Clumping of finger and toes. Option D. Increased blood flow to lungs. Option D, the right answer, increase blood flow to lungs. Question 150. Sonken Fontanel is a sign of Option A, Turner's syndrome, Option B, hydrocephalus, Option C, Down syndrome, and Option D, dehydration. Sonken Fontanel is the sign of dehydration. Best of luck to all. Thank you so much.